I feel like I should have worn my darker foundation because I tanned and my face is way too light for my body. Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this foxy eye makeup tutorial and this is kind of a chit chat get ready with me. I just want to say thank you for 40k. We're going to talk about that some more. And some other things. This video is kind of all over the place but I hope you guys enjoy it regardless and let's get into it. beautiful welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a get ready with me um i'm gonna do the foxy eye look i kind of already did it in my last video to be honest but i guess i'm just gonna do a more amplified version of it i already did my brows i'm gonna have a bit of brow routine because i think these are like my dream brows even though i look kind of crazy right now like this is truly what i've been going for this whole time and now i finally got it i got a different setup going on I have um, a backdrop stand finally so my backdrop isn't on my wall anymore and no, fuck it up now. And I um have a light above me now because that's all Aaliyah's face had a light above her. And for some reason it made a difference. I don't know why it makes a difference, but it makes a difference. So I have that going. Um, I do plan on getting a camera, so we're going to get into that as I do my makeup. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with my eyes. have a little bit of LA Girl Conceal left over on my, um, on my, what is this, my hand? This is my hands. <laughs> I don't know what things are. And I'm just going to start dotting that over my eye. And then I'll blend that out with a brush. How are you guys doing? Um, Honestly, I was doing terrible. <laughs> I was not doing good because everything just sucks. Like, we all know it. But, but, then things happened. Then I hit 40K. <laughs> Actually, before I hit 40K... My friend gave me a really good pep talk and that was like what I really, really needed to keep going. And she basically just told me that I was like <laughs> thebomb.com and it's crazy because I really don't be knowing that I'm thebomb.com but I really am thebomb.com and, and I'm not saying that in a cocky way but like what I do, I, I'm good at it. And you know in my head I try to make myself think that I'm not good at what I do but I am. I'm, I'm great at what I do. And all it took was for somebody to just sit there and tell me that, yes, you are great at what you do. I'm provoked, too. The conversation came out of nowhere. She started telling me, like, out of nowhere, just how great I was. <laughs> and, you know, I really needed to hear that. But then, like, the next day, or maybe it was, like, two days later after that, I hit 40K on my channel. And I remember when I hit 20K, I had just got a new car. And I was supposed to be feeling good. But I was just in a rut. And this didn't feel like, I didn't feel good about the situation. But this time it was completely different. And I, I wasn't even, I, I was happy of course that I had the 20k, right? Don't get me wrong. And I had a new car and I was like, wow, things are great. Why don't I feel good? And so when I got the 40k and I saw it was, I, I promise it might have been the day after the talk. I woke up from the talk. And I already went to sleep in like a good mood. And then I woke up and I saw that I had 40k. And I was shook. <laughs> shook isn't even the word. Like, I was truly... I was just speechless. And to me, like, I'm just really not all that. And I don't I don't want to say that as, like, compliment fishing. I just want to express how I, like, feel. So, this is going to be kind of chatty. I'm sorry. I just have some things to say. <laughs> I'm going to set my eyes today. And I'm actually going to set them with my face powder, the LA Girl Pro Face. And I'm just going to use the same brush I was using and just set the area. I'm just really happy because I think it was the first time I really felt like I deserved it. And a lot of people say like I'm underrated and stuff. And like I truly don't think I am. I just think it's not my turn yet. But... The 40k really just made me realize that my turn is like coming and I haven't felt like that in a very long time so it was just really great. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to me, watching me do what I do. Um, I want to start implementing some different things on my channel. I want to do more than just hair. I've been saying that for a long time but I really do mean it. I'm going to get a vlogging camera soon so I can start doing that. Cause I've been revamping my room and I don't know I just like it might be something y'all would want to see. I'm also apartment shopping right now, cause I'm manifesting. I just have, I just, I can really see the vision right now, and I'm very excited. Let's move the fuck on. So I'm just gonna sketch out the 
this dark brown shadow on the corner of my eye and give it like a wing. I guess this video is going to be me talking about my 40k and like how we got to this point. Even though it's, it's I don't want to say it's not a lot because it's a lot to me and this is what I got and it's my little team over here. I enjoy my little team over here. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm calling you guys. Um, I'm going to figure it out one day though. I've been doing this consistently for about a year and a half. Um, for about a year and a half, I've been uploading or trying. It, every, it hasn't been perfect every time. But, oh, I'm using the shade um, Rowdy from the Subculture palette. I'm sorry, I should have said that before. About a year and a half now, and of course it hasn't always been perfect. I haven't always made the cutoff. I haven't always kept it up. But um, it was always a goal of mine to upload at least once a week. But here in quarantine, I've been definitely going twice a week or attempting to. And it has definitely paid off. There's nothing I can say to you guys or recommend anything more than just being consistent. Um, this girl, this girl pissed me off yesterday. I don't, and I hope you don't see this and think I hate her because I don't. I just, I just feel like it's not realistic to think you're going to start a channel and you're going to get a million views overnight. It happens for some, but not all of us. And maybe we can't all be the 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 one percent that get there off of one video. You know, it doesn't happen to blow up. We can't all be her. So we have some of us have to be the ones to work for it and go for years. And thankfully, I've only been doing this for a year and a half, and the the, the growth has been tremendous. So I I started my channel because. People always wanted to know like how I did my hair and even back then it wasn't that good. That's what's really crazy to me. It's like back then my hair was just kind of okay. My makeup was just kind of okay. But like, I don't know, in high school people really just wanted to see how I did stuff. So I used to do Snapchat tutorials. You know, people liked that. It wasn't like a big audience. But people, a lot of people added me on Snap because of it. And it made me happy to do. And you know, it was just, it was just nice. So for a long time people just said you just gotta make a channel, you just gotta make a channel. And I was like, I don't know, I've talked about this before on my channel but in school I was really depressed and I was going through a lot so school really wasn't like the option for me. So when I started this, it just, it just felt right. Like now I can't even picture another job for me. My job is like the most perfect job for me. Like. Um, the way my, I struggle with anxiety and, oh, I'm not diagnosed, but I, I have been diagnosed with ADHD, but, you know, I, I feel anxiety often and, um, I'm not diagnosed with depression, but a, a bitch be sad, you know me? A bitch be sad and, you know, to have the, the time to take to myself and being able to be in a position where if I need a day off, I can take a day off. I just really can't imagine me working any other job because I don't think I would have had the same abilities. Like I wouldn't be able to just stop working when I wanted to stop working because I just don't feel good that day. Oh, so, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not always like feeling that way, and that's why sometimes I, I might not record videos because I just don't feel up to it. And I, I'm never just gonna come up here sad and like push through. I don't know. I just feel like I'm. Not, I don't have to, so I won't. And that means a lot to me, like to be in that position. So I'm so thankful. I got this Wet n Wild um, brush. I'm just going to use my bronzer and just um, add some shadow to my, my crease right here. Not a lot. I have so many things I want to happen. I'm about to be do, doing so much more makeup, more try on hauls. Um, I have a lot of things coming. I'm revamping my whole wardrobe. I just feel like I'm ready to like move on. Like, I feel like I'm tired of being sad and shit. You know, a bitch is tired of being sad. Like, nobody wants to be sad, but like, I'm so tired of being sad. Like, I'm sure nobody wants to be sad, but you know when you just be sad, you don't even want to be sad. It's like, can we move on now? Like, we, we've been doing this for how long? We still doing the same old shit? Can we get over it? That's how I feel about myself. Like, bitch, can you stop being sad now? So, I don't know. I'm still working on how to not be a sad ass bitch, but um, in the meantime, things are going good, and I'm very proud. It's something that'll keep me, like, ele like elevated, just knowing that, like, you know, at least things that might might not be that good for for me personally, but my shit's going good, and that's good enough for me. So I know this inner corner part might look a little like empty, but I'm gonna be adding a liner. I, I really wish I had a brown liner. Like I'm so hurt I don't have a brown liner, but 
I'm going to use a regular black liner and I will be um, filling that in. So don't worry about that. I'm going to do the other eye off camera so we can like save some time. And I'll be back when I'm finished to put on lashes. Okay, so my other eye is done. I did kind of figure out how I wanted my, uh, the cream, not the cream, the cream color. Yeah, the cream color. This light, um, nude-ish color. I found out how I wanted it on my lid. And now it looks great. I am to my own horn a lot, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I'm using my concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows. It's the MAC 212. And I'm just going to clean that up. Not to be that girl, but y'all see what happened with Lana Del Rey? Girl. <laughs> not, not that I don't want to start any drama. I don't start any gossip, but girl. I'm gonna say my brief opinion on that because I just think it's so crazy and it happened today. I don't know when this video will be, probably Saturday. It's gonna be a couple days since the incident happened, but it's the day of the, when things happen today. And I have some things I wanna say, but not really. I don't think it's that deep. Who are these celebrities' friends, you know? Who is their inner circle of people? And why do they just let them come on the internet and just say whatever the fuck they wanna say? Who is the fan group? Who is the PR agent? Who are the people that let them speak out like this? If you don't know, Lana Del Rey, Basically, so many words called out a few names. Some of them just happened to be Doja Cat, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce. She called out Ariana Grande and Camille for a little razzle dazzle, but you know it was mainly black women. Um, said Meg The Stallion, I'm pretty sure. Some it was it was black rappers, and she was basically saying, um, "This is the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. Love this shit. Do you not know I love this shit? Cause I do. I love it. Buy it." Basically saying that these these women don't face any backlash for. The topics that she's been talking about for a long time and she faced backlash basically I don't know I'll leave the screenshot right here of what she said and you can pause it if you want to read it but it's not gonna be there for long um and to say that you know Beyonce hasn't faced no criticism for for who she is you know it's just like who are you where are you getting this from you know like who hurt you you didn't want to tell your friends this you didn't want to talk about this with your, with your people who are these people's friends? Like, I remember one time Ari tweeted something like, um, girl shouldn't come to me as a woman because you knew that nigga was with me. Are you dumb? Like, is it, are you getting crayons? Keep that to yourself. Uh, tell your friends that. Jada tweeted something about how, how I'm about to use my NARS, um, natural radiant long wear foundation how babies ruin relationships baby your relationship wasn't like babies test relationships baby don't ruin relationships if your relationship is already bad before the baby baby it's not gonna get no better after the baby you know just like where are your friends tell us to your friends don't, don't tell us this baby when i get the bag i'm not fumbling it you're not gonna hear me talking stupid about stupid shit one because i'm not a stupid person you feel me i have a good head on my shoulders i'm not dumb like, it's just, I know the right from wrong, you know? But, like, how do y'all get to the point where y'all feel like, I need to tell everyone this? You know, you're, you have a million plus people watching you, and you want to tell people these things? Why? I'm not from Linda Bay. You're not going to hear stupid shit from me. And not, not that I would say stupid shit. That's what it really boils down to. I'm not a stupid person. And I would hate for me to have a scandal in the future and you refer to this as, oh, she said she was... Right now, I really don't feel like I would say some stupid shit like those things. Because, like, it's just not in my character to say these stupid fucking things. You're not going to catch me wasting a bag. I'm here to get the bag. And I'm here to, you know, make it work. I'm not here to fumble it. I'm not here to say my stupid opinions that I don't have. But I'm just not, that's not what we're here to do. If you don't sit there and be cute, if you don't sit there and sing your music and just shut the fuck up, this isn't the, it's the time for you to say your white feminist opinions, Lana. It's not the time to tell us that you think your son ruined your relationship. It's not the time to tell us that you think that women shouldn't tell women when they're, they're when other women, significant others are cheating on them. Keep, tell your friend! Tell your friend. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Friends need to celebrities need to find their friends, make them sign the NDA so that their, 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 their stupid thoughts can stay private. If they want to tell somebody so bad, just keep it under wraps. If you're gonna say stupid shit, just shut the fuck up. I need my fan. Got my fan. I'm gonna use the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer again. You know this has been my judge lately. I'm fucking with it. If you haven't got this concealer, I recommend it. It's four dollars. My friend got it after I told her to get it. She said she loved it, so you know, 
go get it i am going to be still adding the inner corner as well don't worry i haven't done one of those in so long i used to be the eyeliner queen back in high school i used to wear eyeliner every day i used to wear eyeliner every day on my channel too and i just don't i don't know why i'm making like that was so far long ago because it really wasn't I'm, i might start wearing liner again i was thinking that my eyes have been looking really boring and it's time to just I'm gonna step our shit up fan time it's just time to step our cookies up i'm ready to go to the next level now we've been we've been pretty static over here but you know there's not much more of that you know we're time to time to grow time to grow this video has been all over the place i mean it's been the thank you for 40k to celebrities need to shut the fuck up what's happening next the world may never know i am i'm doing my makeup on my channel it's happening we're doing it that's why i'm recording this get ready with me because i'm just recording my makeup on my channel i'm about to start doing looks again soon i don't know it might not be your kind of look but it's gonna be like i don't know like this is a soft glam ish look that's the kind of thing i'm gonna have on my channel now i'm gonna have a red sparkly um smoky eye because that was really nice i saw um money exchange do it on her show it was really great drag race has just been really inspiring i'm gonna blend out this concealer one second for the Lana Del Rey thing. I love Lana Del Rey personally. I don't know. Some of y'all might not be Lana Del Rey fans, but I personally love Lana Del Rey. And you know, she's not canceled for this. I feel like, I feel like she keeps talking. She might have, you know, one less fan. But I would really hate for it to come to that because I just hope she shuts the fuck up and just keeps her thoughts to herself so we can just love her. And you know, what? I just hate when celebrities start showing their ass. Like it's so hard for me to stand Summer Walker right now. Cause she just keeps sharing this false information about the coronavirus and I don't want anyone to start talking about false information on comments because you will get deleted. I don't have time for this sh the bullshit. She's really frustrated to sit here and watch her post misinformation in front of her large audience. People with platforms need to watch how they use their platform because it's just not worth sharing these false things. It's really not. So I won't go tell me how white stuff in my mouth. But I see how it is. Oh, the, in, including this fan into my process, it just, me, it just makes the whole process feel really good. You know, like I'm already doing my makeup, I'm already about to look like a bad bitch, but then on top of that, I'm fanning myself. It's just, does it get any better than this? I really don't think it does. Oh, I'm, this video is all over the place, and I hope you guys don't mind that, but this is how my brain works, and I did write down a few notes, but I didn't really know exactly what I was going to say in the video, but I do want to go back to this. I'm going to be making a video basically explaining why people shouldn't be YouTubers. Because I, I think I briefly touched on it in the beginning, but this girl really DM'd me and asked me why she hasn't got any more subscribers in a week. And she literally only had two days on her channel that both were uploaded that week. And she asked me why. I mean, no offense to you. You know, if you're watching this, um, I hope you, you progress. But I just couldn't respond to you because I, I couldn't figure out a nice way to say that why wouldn't you have more <laughs> than what you have now? You've been doing it for a week. If they want to pursue this, like they want to get into YouTube, there's just some things you got to know before, you know... You just decide this what we're gonna do. Time to blunt this concealer. Just not realizing that my foundation is way too light for my, my body because I've been oh oh I've been self tanning because I seen Aaliyah's face do it. I love Aaliyah's face. The day that she subscribes to me and acknowledges me back, it'll be like a really good day, and I hope you guys are all here to see it. But um, anyway, she self tans. I was like, I'm tired of being a pale ass bitch, so I'm not a pale ass bitch right now. My face kind of don't match. But we're going to bronze her up real good. We're going to bronze her up real nice. And hopefully, you know, hopefully fix that. And I like to keep my um, second brighter concealer just right here. I feel like it brings, like, definition to my face. So I have a very chubby face. So it just, I don't know. I, I feel like it does something. I don't have the makeup terminology to describe what it does for me. But if you know, like, if you feel it, like, I hope you, you implement it in your routine too. Okay, time to set my face. I'm going to use my air spun. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Powder. And hopefully this can darken up my face as well. Next, I'm going to let the powder sit for a second and I'm going to put on my lashes. These lashes are samples for some things happening. Um, hopefully I can have lashes for sale for you guys because I just realized I've sold too many pairs of the Peach Echoes. And, you know... It's nice to know that I have the influencer power, but baby, I don't make no coin when y'all go out and buy the peach echo lash. So, um, I'm working on some lashes. I have a few other lash pairs to try. I'm going to try on another pair when I do the, uh, 
the more dramatic look. So this is a nice natural lash. It's kind of close to the one I usually wear, but it's not all the way there. I do want to find a dupe for the lash. That's my real, real main goal right now. I want to find a dupe for the, the um, Peach Echo Lash. I just haven't found it yet. I need to stop talking to put on my lash, but this is the last trick if you're new here. I forget that I need to tell you guys something my name. I just say hi, beautiful. Hi, my name is Jalea. I know we're like halfway through the video and you probably already think you know me or are cool, but you've been calling me Jalea and I know you have and it's it's fine. I haven't said nothing, but my name is Jalea. Okay, back to the lash. <laughs> just go ahead and put lash glue on my lid and then just plop on my lash. It's super easy. I was like, this is a natural lash. I fucking am a liar. <laughs> Let me put them down lower. The, oh, if you if you notice that um, 25 millimeter lashes are way too long for you, I like to just put them on flatter. So it's just more of the length instead of like, like if you feel like they're too thick, all you have to do is just, I'm, I'm about to say what I think, but <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right now. All you have to do is just put them a little flatter so they go less up. And when you put them like down like this, it just, I don't know, it do something. It make, it make them less volume focused and more like definition focused, I guess. If that makes sense. Okay, now, time to bronze. I'm going to use this Morphe M5530 in my NYX Matte Bronzer. And I'm just going to focus this really heavy. I want like a really warm face because I just think the... The eyes are kind of like sultry, so I went. I don't know. I just, I, bitch, I don't know. That's what I want to do. That's why. That's why I can't do fucking makeup videos because I just be like, yeah, I just want to do. And then I have to explain why I want to do it. And it's just like I just think it'll look good. Like my highlight. I don't know why it looks good. It just does. Like trust me, <laughs> trust me. That's all you need to do. If I say it's nice, I'm telling the truth. Like if I say I want to do this, it's probably in your best interest that you try to do it too. We're we're all here in this together. I'm gonna get the little wet and wild brush that I use on my crease. I'm just gonna, um, you know, add some warmth in my tip. I'm not gonna do the whole, um, what's it called? Uh, um, baking on the sides of my nose. I really don't feel like doing that tonight. So we're not. We love free will. I'm gonna do my Laura Geller Gilded Honey as always as a highlighter. Really wish that I had a brown liner instead, but it's okay. I'm just going to use this black liner. And I'm going to add a flick on the inner corner of my eye. They're trying to me fuck up, but I fucked up. This is crazy. So I have like two extra dots on my eye, and I can't reach on my blink. It just keeps getting worse. So I'm just going to let those dry and hopefully I can flick those off when I'm finished. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my mascara because I don't have time to wait on things, you know. When things fuck up, you just got to keep going. Let me grab my mascara. No. 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 No, I'm not. I'm not. No. Stop. Stop. Don't do it to me. You are not make a tear. If you do that, go nuts. Like, please don't fuck this up. This is really upsetting me and my homegirls. Liner time, cause I can't fuck with that no more for I get mad. This is just a regular brown lip pencil. A lot of people ask me about what kind of lip pencil. It don't, it don't, girl, they all do the same thing. And I know you like just want to get the ultimate look, but baby, a dollar lip pencil is going to do the same thing as a maybe fifteen dollar lip pencil. So now I found this while I was cleaning my room, and this is the ColourPop. This is so old. I don't even know if this is gonna be any good. Okay, I hope it, it's going to be some good today. This is the ColourPop and Karuchi collab <laughs> from so very long ago. I can't even tell you how old this is. My mom see what it would look like because when I first got it, I really didn't know how to wear it because I didn't know how to wear makeup. But now I kind of do, so let's try. Okay, we just set some down and just fucking runs off. It's like, baby, I just had you. Here we go. I'm gonna finish up my brows real quick. And I just like to dip my um, my spoolie into some gel. This is the wet line. And just get my brow hairs into place. And I also think this brings back, like, the individual hairs. Because when you, like, dust your face with powder and stuff, it, like, can kind of lose everything. So this just kind of brings everything back together. It's not much better, but it's something. So now I'm going to go ahead and start doing my, doing my hair, and I will be back with the finished look. So now that my hair is on, I'm going to go ahead and start finishing up my makeup. I'm going to go ahead and bronze around my hairline because I just feel like I need it. And I'm trying to get it on this lace kind of, sort of, because 
it's kind of light but I don't think that did anything I think it honestly made it worse but here we are here's the finished look um I will have a tutorial on this hair I'm really not sure what video comes first but you know there, there's this makeup fit tutorial and there also is this hair so at some point this hair will be up um so go ahead and give that a, a check out if you would like to and um yeah how do you guys feel about the makeup look this is kind of sort of what i did last time but like different i don't know do you see we're kind of trying to elevate but like slightly it's like slightly we're getting back into the makeup pool but i really do like this i feel like i should have worn my darker foundation because i tanned and my face is way too white for my body but other than that i feel really beautiful and i'm tired and i'm ready to go to sleep it's definitely it's 12 it's midnight and i'm doing this you know what I look like today? I look like a mess. I look like a fucking bum, but you know, at midnight, this is when I want to look good. I, why am I like this? Thank you so much for 40k. I'm very thankful, and I'm so excited for us to keep going and growing. And I don't know, when we get to 50, I'm going to call y'all guys a name. I don't know what, I, what I'm going to call y'all besides beautiful, because that's what y'all are. Okay, I'm going to meet Corny. Um, thank you so much for watching, and hope you guys enjoy. See you in my next video. Bye, beautiful. So in love